people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to make garlic bread but I'm going to make it in like a French bread and these are all the ingredients I you can see that but these are all the ingredients for making bread I've got I need four, oun four ounces I don't need four ounces of anything as you can see I've got the garlic I haven't chopped it up yet but I shall be doing that and um, my, my, mm, my flour got damaged in transit. It was like it's been shot out and missed. Actually, it looks like it's been hit. Well, it's been, it has been hit. Yeah, the last bullet got it. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to tip the flour all over the table. No, no. Right, I'm going to tip it all. At, um, no, I think that's a bit, uh, I'll take the top Open it like a proper. Okay. Leave the rip to one side, other side. Right, now it's four. Four cups of flour. This is. Oh shit. Um, strong bread flour. So you put four of them in. Doesn't matter if it goes a bit overboard, you can always clear it up after you've done your rolling out. So that's. <clears throat> voice is fading again. So that's. This is the fourth one. <gasps> right, that's the flower done. That's it. Then there's a teaspoon. These things, these implements, I don't know if you can see them. These implements I'm using are proper bread making facilities. Right, put some flour on the table. The reason why I didn't show you me mixing the, I don't know if you can see, the bread. And the reason why I didn't show you the greasing of the tin and the cutting of the uh, garlic is uh, my camera ran out somebody forgot to put it on charge I've said sorry once to me but not to the camera sorry <laughs> so now I'm going to tip it out out you come some extra flour. Right, could you hold that please? Thank you. Right, so this is a bit sloppy. Yeah. And now what I'm going to do is just keep kneading it, as they call it, kneading it. Well, it's starting to take shape. We ought to have the time on camera. Right, right. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to roll it out. When I said roll, you'd no need to turn around in a circle. <laughs> right, now that... I think it might need to be a bit... I think it's a bit too big, don't you? I think it's a bit too big for it. I need to put it on that tray. a bit better isn't it that looks a bit like it doesn't it yeah so I'll just wrap and what I'm going to do is 
got to cough there. Um, I'm thinking putting a bit of egg on it. Could you get me an egg, please, dear? Could you put your phone down for two minutes and get me an egg, please? You can crack it in that dish if you like. Now I'm going to beat the life out of this egg. Can you get me my brush? Please, for the whiskey. Get for the, it's on the drainer. Maybe it might be best if I put it on my tray first. It's near the back of the drainer. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to slap it on the tray and fold it out and it's all gone f messed up. Well, no, I didn't really. That's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to egg yolk it. No, I'm not going to cover it in egg. I'm going to. I don't know if you're supposed to, but because this is too big, this I've made too much, and I'm, I'll admit it, made too much. Because uh, there's going to be garlic in this, it's not wise to give it your dogs. I don't know about cats. I've never had a cat. I don't want one. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to slap that in the oven. I'm going to cook it for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to cut the side, open it up, which I will show you. Cut the side, open it up, put the garlic in, uh, and then put close it up, recook it a bit more. And then we'll see how it goes. You can see half the bread's done, other half isn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the garlic on the bread, sprinkle it out a bit more. I think I'll just put these two little bits on, on the corner, because in the corner on the garlic bread I have, doesn't always have it on the corner. So that's... And what I'm going to do is, because my bread is still a bit soggy, I'm going to leave the top like that, leave it turned back, then I'm going to put it in the oven for another 10 minutes, and I'm going to check it again, and if it's all right, then I shall pick the other side and put it back on, so it looks like a loaf of bread. Right, it's been in the oven for about, God knows how long, about 20 minutes all in all, probably a bit longer. The oven was on 200. Uh, but now I've turned it off because the bread to me looks like it's done. And this is the end product of a French garlic bread my way. And my son's going to do the taste test. Come on dear. That's the bread. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> mm, yeah. Didn't get any of that. <laughs> it tastes like bread. <laughs> oh, that. It's chewy, eh? but it actually tastes like garlic bread like you get from the shop. Awesome. So yeah, big thumbs up. Right, I know it was a bit big. <laughs> I need to grow up. I know it was a bit big and it weren't actually like the thin garlic bread you get from the shop. But for the first try, I don't think I did bad. 
So if you like what you see, please keep please keep viewing me. If you want me to, if you want, to, give me a thumbs up, please. <laughs> Be much appreciated. If you want me to make some, don't just put chicken something else and something else. If you want me to make some, say chicken and can you make some and something else instead of just putting the full thing. So tell me, explain, I've mentioned this before, tell me if you want me to make something, don't just put it down saying, like, for instance, like, fried eggs. What's that? I mean, what do you want, how do you want to, I mean, or, or eggs. I mean, what, how do I know what you're going to want? Is it, do you want them fried on something? Do you want them on fried egg on toast or what? I need to know more, you, you know, you're just putting things down, like, milk pudding. Or something, it wasn't actually milk pudding, but if you want me to make something, you must give me an information saying I want you to make so and so to go with this chicken. So please do that in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It'll be no, much appreciated. Is the thumbs up, isn't it? The more the merrier. So thank you. Bye.